Hey everybody, Donnie Gardner here with the Boston Terror Society, and today I'm going to do a little something different in this episode. I'm actually going to read you one of the articles that I posted on my website, The Difference Between the Boston Terrier and the French Bulldog. I know a lot of you are pl- planning on purchasing a Boston, and Bostons and Frenchies often get confused. So in this article, I just wanted to go through all the histories, common health concerns, and what you guys can expect from the two different types. I thought reading the article might be easier for you just to digest the information rather than going to the site and checking it out, as well as me just talking about it. So we're going to try this out, see if it works, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So let's get started. Okay, the difference between a Boston Terrier and a French Bulldog. These are two of the most popular dog breeds in America, and Boston Terriers and the French Bulldogs have been at the number one chart back from 1915 all the way to today. Uh, Boston Terriers, according to the American Kennel Club, is 21st as of 2018, and the Frenchie is number six. So, a little bit of a gap, but people often get these two confused. Uh, They are both adorable, smaller dog breeds, and they easily capture the attention and hearts of everyone who crosses their paths. Yet, these two breeds are often confused with each other, and as they are individual in their own respective ways, it's essential to acknowledge and respect their differences. If you're considering adopting one of these breeds, you'll want to choose the one who fits your lifestyle. Where does the Boston Terrier and French Bulldog differ from each other? Let's take a closer look. First, breed histories. The Boston Terrier history. The Boston Terrier breed was first bred around 1865 in Boston, Massachusetts, making the breed a true American dog. How the breed began lies with Bostonian named Robert C. Cooper, who purchased a dog named Judge from William O'Brien. It's generally recognized that O'Brien had imported the dog from England, and Judge was a cross between a white English terrier and an English bulldog. Once the dog changed owners, he became known as Hooper's Judge. The dog was sturdy around 32 pounds, and had dark brindle coloring with a white blaze on his face. Judge's head was blocky and square, and he even had an even mouth. It is this dog who is considered the ancestor of nearly all true modern Boston Terriers. The breeds making up today's Boston Terrier. Judge was bred to a white dog named Burnett Gip, nicknamed Kate, who was owned by Edward Burnett. Kate was low stationed, around 28 pounds, had stocky build and a square head. From this mating, the path to the modern Boston Terrier was paved. The male dog born to Judge and Kate was not a particular handsome dog, but he had the personality that all Boston Terriers would become so well known for, being gentle and kind. This dog, Wells Epp, was mated to a female called Tobin's Kate and historians suggest that their offspring were then crossed with the French Bulldog. That crossing formed the foundation of how the Boston Terrier breed was created. Naming the Boston Terrier The Boston Terrier did not carry that name at first. The fledgling breed was called several names, including Roundheads, Bullet-Heads, Boston Bulldogs, American Terriers, but in 1889, a group of 30 owners of the new breed formed the American Bull Terrier Club. They settled on calling the breed bull terriers or roundheads, and then fanciers of the breed loudly objected to these names. So to please much of the base as possible, the club changed their name to the Boston Terrier Club in recognition of the breed's birthplace. The Boston Terrier today, in 1893, the American Kennel Club formally recognized the breed, and the Boston Terrier's popularity took off from there. Over time, and after some inconsistency with the breed standards, the black and white Boston Terrier that we know today was settled on. In 1915, the Boston Terrier was formerly the most popular dog in America, and in 1976, the breed was chosen as the American Bicentennial Dog. Keep in mind, this dog was one of the first dogs ever created in the United States. Three years later, the Bostonian Terrier, or the Boston Terrier, became the state dog of Massachusetts. Today, the Boston Terrier remains one of the most popular dog breeds in the country. Like I said before, it's 21st as of 2018. Now on to the French Bulldog history. With the weight of three countries behind its making, the French Bulldog is genuinely genuinely an international breed. Its origins begin with the Old English Bulldog in England, a breed that was far different from modern Bulldog breeds. 
The old English bulldog was extremely strong and athletic and had a tall and was tall on the leg. The breed was typically used at the time for bull baiting, a horrific blood sport that pitted the dog against a bull. Some English breeds began to refine aspects of the bulldog to create a bigger dog with more exaggerated features, while other crossed the English bulldog with smaller terrier breeds, producing a bull and terrier type of dog used for ratting and dog fighting. A third group crossed these terriers with the English bulldog to create a much smaller dog, around a 12 to 15 pounds, with rows or upright ears, a pronounced underjaw, and round foreheads. It was the smaller dogs who became favorites of the artisan lace makers in Nottingham. Birthplace of the modern Frenchie. With the advent of the Industrial Revolution, the shops in the lace industry closed and the artisans moved to northern France, bringing their little bulldog terriers with them. The French were immediately enamored of the small dogs and they became popular throughout the whole country. The British public turned their noses up to these little dogs, so the French left their imprint on what would become known as the French Bulldog breed. By the late 1800s, the breed had become more compact and had lost the extreme underjaw. There were still two styles of ears, the erect, bat-like ears, and the rows or floppy ears. Wealthy Americans touring France at the time saw the dogs, fell in love with them, and brought them back to the United States. From that point on, the breed acquired the nickname Frenchie, deciding on the proper standard. For a time, there was a quite a scuff about which type of French Bulldog would be recognized as the official breed standard, the dogs with bat ears or the ones with the rose ears. The American Kennel Club learned, leaned toward the rose ears dogs, which infuriated American breeders, who felt that the bat-eared dogs should be the standard. This group created the French Bulldog Club of America, and the breed's popularity took off until World War I. Replaced in demand by the Boston Terrier, the French Bulldog fell out of favor. It wasn't until the last 20 years when the breed became popular again, especially with the advent of video and social media. Today, the Frenchie is one of the most popular breeds in the world. Breed features. There are both similarities and differences between the features of the Boston Terrier and the French Bulldog. They can sometimes be mistaken for each other, and as there may be distinct relatives between them, this is somewhat understandable. Yet, both breeds are distinct in their particular ways. First, let's go over the Boston Terrier features. The body. Compact and well-proportioned, the Boston Terrier is a dapper, handsome dog with naturally and distinctively small, erect, bat-shaped ears. The dog's head is square and flat on top. The muzzle is broad and short. The chest is sturdy and full. He has a slightly arched neckline and a boxy body shape. The tail usually is short and straight, although some dogs can have a corkscrew-shaped tail. Perhaps the most interesting feature of this breed is the large, dark, round eyes that express sweet, loving nature. The Boston Terrier has a shortened snout, meaning that it's a brachycephalic breed. The nose of the brachycephalic dog is so short that it makes the face appear pushed in or flat. It is a distinctive look that for some dogs can also cause health problems. There are three weight categories for the Boston Terrier breed. The 20 to 25 pound group, the 15 and under, the 20 pound group, or the 15 under 20 pound group, and the under 15 pound group. Male Boston Terriers are generally, generally around 17 inches tall, while the females can reach 16 inches in height. Coats and color and care. Coat colors and care. The Boston Terrier has a clean, smooth, fine-haired coat that comes in three colors, brindle, black, and seal. All Boston Terriers have an all-white muzzle with an accompanying blaze down the middle of their head and a white chest. The pattern is one reason why the breed is remarked as wearing a tuxedo. There are no purebred Boston Terriers any other color. As for coats go, the Boston Terrier is a low-maintenance and easy-to-groom, Weekly brushing with a firm brush and occasional baths is typically the extent of the coat care needed for this breed. Because the Boston Terrier's eyes are so prominent, this breed's face should be washed daily and eyes checked for any signs of irritation or redness. The French Bulldog Features Body The body of the French Bulldog somewhat resembles a small tank or a bulldog in miniature form. Like his Boston Terrier counterpart, the French Bulldog has a wreck bat-shaped ears that are a natural, distinct, or natural and distinctive. 
and also the leading cause for confusion between the two breeds. The breed's body is compact and muscular. The French Bulldog's head is large, square, as well as flat between the ears, and his dark, captivating eyes are wildly set in his head. Like the Boston Terrier, the French Bulldog is a brachycephalic breed. With his squished-looking short snout, the nose style is one of the poses, or is one that poses health challenges to the breed, especially in terms of their ability to withstand extreme hot or cold environments. Both male and female French Bulldogs can weigh between 25 and 27 pounds. The males may grow as tall as 13 inches, while the females typically no taller than 11 inches. Coat colors and cares. The French Bulldog coat is fine, short, smooth, and shiny. The breed has loose, wrinkly skin around the head and shoulders that has a soft texture to it. The Frenchie can be found in a variety of coat colors, including cream, fawn, and a white, wide range of brindle shades. The brindle shades range from tiger brindle, a striking stripe pattern, to black brindle and brown and white pied brindle. Purebred French Bulldogs cannot be solid black, moose, liver, or black and tan, and white in color. Due to his fine short coat grooming, a French Bulldog is relatively straightforward affair. This breed is an average shedding dog, so a weekly brushing with a gentle brush can remove any loose or dead hair before it hits the carpets. Bathing, you should be done monthly or as needed basis. Now on to breed health concerns. As a brachycephalic breed, the Boston Terrier and the French Bulldog do share some similar health issues, one of which is the syndrome. The short-nosed dog breeds often have difficulty breathing due to constricted airways and really struggle in extremely hot or cold temperatures. They are also more prone to allergies, especially one caused by environmental conditions. Additionally, both breeds suffer from patellar luxation or slip stifles. This congenital disease is common in small dog breeds and is caused when the patella or knee slips out of place. This condition can cause an abnormal gait or lameness, and although, although it, present, it is present at birth, it may not appear until later in the dog's life. Patella, patellar luxation can cause chronic arthritis and must be addressed with surgery if it severely impacts the dog's quality of life. Aside from the brachycephalic syndrome and the patella luxation, the other medical issues with both breeds do differ significantly. Here are some of the most common health issues in both breeds, respectively. First, the Boston Terrier health concerns. Cataracts, both juvenile and adult varieties, are common health problems for Boston Terriers. When cataracts develop, it casts a cloudy film over the eye lens, limiting the dog's vision. Megasophagus is a genetic defect in the structure of the esophagus, this defect causes Boston Terriers to regurgitate undigested food. Over time, damage can be done to the lining of the throat. Reverse sneezing. This is a condition that can impact Boston's at any stage of his life. If the dog gulps his food quickly, becomes overexcited, or has an allergic reaction to an environmental condition like pollens or grasses, reverse sneezings can occur. Its nasal secretion falls onto the soft palate and closes off the windpipe causing the wheezing sound. Keeping the dog relaxed during the attack will shorten the length of the episode. Tip, one of the things my wife and I do when Bella does her reverse sneezing is just hold her chest real tight, and this helps calm her down. Once she's calm, the reverse sneezing will stop. That's the biggest thing. If you can just calm them down by just holding them firmly, it, it'll stop the reverse sneeze. Deafness, this is a condition that affects many Bostons in one, of, one or both ears. Boston Terriers who have white on more than one-third of their heads are more likely to produce deaf puppies. Heart murmurs are often a heritable issue wherein a defect is the mitral valve area of the heart causes a backflow of the blood into the left atrium. The heart is incapable of performing efficiently. When this condition occurs, heart murmurs can be successfully treated through a dietary and lifestyle changes. Cherry eye this is another heritable disease wherein the gland of the third eyelid prolapses. The condition typically affects Boston Terriers that are under a year old. Surgery to either remove the gland or reposition it can usually address the issue. Okay, now on to the French Bulldog health concerns. 
The first one we have is von Willebrand's disease. This is a blood disorder that prevents the body from effectively clotting blood. A French bulldog with this disease may experience bleeding gums, nosebleed, prolonged bleeding after surgery or whelping. This disease cannot be cured, but can be managed with medical treatment and transfusions. An elongated soft palate. This is once again a brachycephalic breed issue particular to the French bulldog when the soft palate or extension of the roof of the mouth is too long and it can block the dog's airways, making it hard to breathe correctly. The excess palate can be removed through surgery. Next is intervertebral disc disease. This happens when the disc in the spine herniates or ruptures, forcing the disc up into the spinal cord. Nerve transmissions can be impacted by the interference. This disease is a painful condition that can lead to weakness or temporary paralysis. A Frenchie can be the subject to this disease at any time, although it's often associated with trauma, age, or misplaced jumper step. Steroids or surgery can address the effects of this disease. Cleft palate. This is when the palate, which separates the oral and the nasal cavities in the mouth, is split unilaterally or bilaterally. A cleft palate can occur in either the hard or soft parts of the palate, and in some cases causes the cleft lip. Surgery can be done to close the hole, although not all French, French bulldogs will require that step. Hip dysplasia. This is a genetic condition where the femur does not fit properly into the socket of the hip joint. Some French bulldogs with the hip dysplasia may experience a wide range of pain, lameness, hind end weakness, difficulty walking up or down the stairs. With age, the French bulldog may also develop osteoarthritis. Hip dysplasia can be managed with low impact exercises and pain medications. Hemivertebrae occurs when one or more of the vertebrae are malformed, causing them to be shaped like a triangle. This condition may not impact a French bulldog at all, or it may put pressure on the spinal cord, leading to a weakness, pain, and paralysis. Now on to breed personalities. The Boston Terrier and the French Bulldog are two of the most sought after breeds in America, and their respective personalities are a big reason why. Yes, both breeds are cute, but it's the look of their eyes and the spring in their step that tends to win over people's hearts. So what's the difference between the two? The Boston Terrier's nature. This breed isn't called the American Gentleman for nothing. His origins may be with bullfighting dogs, but today the Boston Terrier is best known for his loving, affectionate nature. The breed is rated highly in intelligent and loves to perform antics for the people that they like most. More than some of the other dog breeds, the Boston Terrier retains an individualistic nature that is solely his own. Some Boston Terriers can be dignified and calm, some lively and high-spirited, some goofy and stubborn, and others sweet and gentle. There's probably a bit of all these characteristics in a Boston Terrier, but their distinctive personalities definitely attract people to them. Stubbornness can sometimes can be an issue with training. The Boston Terrier is smart, sharp, and eager to please his owners, and with a positive reinforcement and consistency, he will pick up on the training quickly. Absolutely lovable. The Boston Terrier is a highly sensitive to his owner's mood, and he wants the most out of life and is a devoted companion to his family. Sometimes a Boston Terrier can be one-person dog, but he is never aggressive and always friendly with whomever he meets. The breed takes his job seriously as protector of his people, and he is an affectionate as well as a serious watchdog who will let you know if a stranger is on the property. More bluster than anything else, the Boston Terrier may occasionally put on a show for the neighbor dogs, but show is as far as things as he's going to go. This breed gets along well with children of all ages and with other household pets. Due to his smaller size, the Boston Terrier is highly adaptable to multiple living environments. He is a good breed choice for people who live in small homes, condominiums, or apartments. Now on to the French Bulldog's nature. Smart, loving, and companionable, the French Bulldog has the perfect personality for a family dog. It's a small dimino. This breed wows everyone he meets with an outgoing, gregarious personality, highly intelligent. The French Bulldog has a tendency to develop his intuition in understanding what his owner wants and how his owner feels. Although some French Bulldogs can be calm and collected, the majority of these dogs are energetic 
adventurers. French bulldogs do not require large amounts of exercise, but perhaps that is because they are so adapt to bouncing from couch to couch, lap to lap, in search of treats and cuddles. Some of this energy is lost as the French bulldog ages. However, healthy members of the breed will always retain some element of his mischievous nature, even as a senior. Note that males are typically more rambunctious and assertive in nature, while females are more affectionate and reserved. Without a proper upbringing and positive training, a French bulldog can become aggressive and barky. Due to his relatively docile temperament and smarts, a French dog is relatively easy to train and eager to please. He can become stubborn as he gets older, a trait that needs to be managed as soon as noticed. The French Bulldog is quite connected to his family. Thus, he should not be left alone for long periods as he is prone to suffer from separation anxiety. The great with every, everyone, the French Bulldog showers everyone he meets with love, and that means he is a particularly good with children of all ages. This breed is usually good with other pets, but some French Bulldogs can have a prey, or a prey drive that make them unsustainable for living with small animals like rodents, ferrets, gerbils, and rabbits. So, pick your breed. The Boston Terrier and the French Bulldog are popular breeds because they are adorable, affectionate, and lovable. They may be mixed up on the occasion, and due to some similarities in aspects of their physical features and medical conditions, that is a mistake easily made. However, both breeds are dis have distinctive histories, personalities, and traits that make them different from each other. Regardless of those differences, one thing is clear. You can't go wrong with bringing a Boston Terrier or a French Bulldog into your life. So now is the time to decide which one you would want to get, the French Bulldog or the Boston Terrier. <clears throat> of course, this being the Boston Terrier Society, I would always recommend the Boston Terrier. These dogs are great with kids. They are good with other animals. They're an amazing watchdog. Plus, if you like someone that's going to cuddle with you, 24 7 this is the breed for you if you have any questions about boston terriers anything further the way we grow this podcast is by you guys asking questions you can either post them here or you can go to bostonterriersociety.com click on the contact us form and put post your question there be sure to mention that you want it in podcast form and we'll get it answered in podcast so have a great day and talk to everyone later thanks bye